students will always ask me, Ty, what do you think the best brand of vacuum pump is? And that's really hard to say. My very first vacuum pump was a yellow jacket, which served me very well, rebuilt it twice, and then ended up selling it to a friend of mine. I've worked with JB Vacuum Pumps to make really good solid vacuum pumps. I know Jim Malone, who's a representative of JB, and he actually travels through classes on them, and they rebuild them, and they teach you about how they work. So if you ever get to attend any class from him, make sure you take it. David Boyd with the Appion Pumps, when they came through, they have a really great set about pulling vacuum fast. They did really great classes with it. This pump served me well until I let somebody borrow it. Uh, the new kid in the block was the Navac pump. If you've ever known Andrew Graves or seen his videos, fantastic videos that he has. These pumps have a DC motor on them, which is really cool. They also have a battery powered pump, which is absolutely awesome. The one I haven't got to play with that I really want to is called the Field Piece Vacuum Pump. They have a change on demand oil, very similar to how this one works. They also have a little canister in it. They, But really what's more important than the pump is making sure you maintain it. Make sure you maintain that pump, you service it, you treat it really well, make sure you protect that cord on it, and it's gonna last you a long time. And again, what's more important than the size of that pump is gonna be your hoses and connection. We're going to talk about that very soon. Find out what your needs are and what your budget is. Now, if you're going to buy a used pump, you need to inspect what's happening inside that. Very difficult to see inside if there's any rust. Like this one's rusted up really bad. So you don't know the condition. Were the people taking care of it? If they were going to pawn their own equipment, did they change the oil frequently? Is it in really good shape inside? So instead of you dumping a whole lot of money into a used piece of equipment, you kind of have to know what you're looking for. You can do some tests with it. You can do some vacuum tests. See if it's pulling down. If it's a really good deal, you know, go for it. You can rebuild them. But just some of the things to look for. If you're going to buy tools, buy one from your local supply house that you have a reputation with, but make sure you know what the price is you're looking for. If you're going to buy any tools online, I really recommend True Tech Tools. Now, I have no connection with True Tech Tools. There's no sponsorship. There's no money transferring there. I buy my tools from them for a very long time. I've got to know Bill Spohn, and he is an amazing person. He has his own podcast. He really cares about the industry, and he cares about education. They spend a lot of money in education, and they have really good prices and sales and discounts on top of that. I don't have any kind of a discount code because I'm not affiliated with them and I want to keep my channel just on my whatever you use make sure you're taking good care of it